Hello Virgos and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for joining me. I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading um, for you and the person you are connecting to, connected with, thinking of. Um, you'll know who it's for when you watch this. So the first line will be for you, the second line will be the person you're connecting with energy, and the third row will be your um, interaction together. So Spirit Angels, can I get three cards for Virgo for the week of May 23rd through the 31st, 2018? Please, and overall week. Okay. Whoa. Way, way too many. However, I will keep the only one that flipped up. You're stuck still, Virgo. Oops. You are still stuck. person Virgo is connecting with. Hmm, interesting. And their energy together. Confused much, Virgos? I think you are. Okay. So um, you're at a distance from somebody. You're thinking about somebody. Somebody's on your mind. Um, yeah, you're waiting for um, something to happen that will allow you to energetically move forward towards this person. Um, you're kind of looking over everything trying to figure it out trying to figure out your next move where to go next and what to do yeah you're trying to you're keeping a cycle from ending for some reason you are resisting change you know you want to move into a different path but you are resisting it for some reason you're you're fearing the future uh you also have the chariot here so that is in reverse. So you're not moving forward. Obviously with the death card in reverse, you're not moving. Um, you're not being honest with yourself or with whoever you are connecting with. Um, I see, I get that this is a third party situation. So you're not connect or you're not being honest with the person that you're currently with or the person you're thinking about. You're not seeing something from the universe. There's something that you're missing. There's something that's right in front of you. Um, that's holding you back from this passionate new beginning. Uh, and that's keeping you stuck. Your overall week, you have the Knight of Swords. So you're going to move forward quickly and come out with the truth to um, who you're connecting with and who you're with. And it's going to cause heartbreak. But I don't see this is for you. I see that you're going to cause the person that you are with heartbreak or the person you're thinking about. Um, it also could break your heart that you are hurting them. But I see the majority of uh, that as your truth is going to hurt somebody um, hurt somebody's feelings, break their heart. The person you're thinking about or connecting to, uh, they're getting out of an energy of, um, holding back, of feeling guarded, holding on tight to their emotions, their investments. Because when I'm getting, when you left them Virgo or them you, they put their wall up from you because they had been hurt in the past, um, because of this relationship. They're letting that go this week. They're um, they're letting go and having faith. They also have the star card. So um, when the stars align, this is destiny. They're going to move in very quick um, because they have healed from the hurt that was caused in the past. 
for a group of you, this is a twin flame relationship after you healed, but definite soulmate. If it's not twin flame, it's a soulmate. But they have healed from the hurt that you caused them. And now with the next uh, movement of the star, when the stars align, you two are going to come back together, which is probably why your uh, partner is going to experience heartbreak if this is, if you are leaving for the third party. <coughs> Excuse me. Things are, um, they felt like things were um, out of balance in the past. You weren't putting enough in. Uh, you are concentrating more on um, a spouse and your children, but that's going to change because you're going to move forward towards this soulmate or this twin flame as soon as you see whatever from the universe is trying to show you. Uh, they have been watching you. They've been looking on your social media, but also they, um, you guys have been in contact this week or this past week, and uh they're going to they're going to get their wish come true. They got the star twice. Um the star to me is uh you know when things line up, it's destiny. This is this person is your destiny, not the person you are with. Now this will not resonate with everybody obviously. So please uh use your judgment wisely. Um because this message may not be for you. But for a group of you, the person you are with is not who you are meant to be with. You are meant to be with this person down here because they have the star twice. Um, your guys' um, energy together. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, the person you are connecting with or you, um, they are dealing with an air sign. They are divorcing that person, more than likely a Libra. But karma, once they get this divorce over with, this is the person that you're separated from. Once this is over, you guys will be able to energetically come back together because the karma will be cleared and the balance and scales will be even. Um, I see you both going through divorces, though, for this group of you. Uh, the Ace of Wands here, again, in reverse, with the King of Swords in reverse. So um, somebody's not thinking clearly, and it's blocking you from starting having this fresh beginning. See, this is what's blocking you. This King of Swords in reverse. You need to think um, logically, not only logically, but with your heart, and it'll allow this passion to come back. Um, it'll allow this new beginning to start, but you have to take care of things. You can't keep running. Virgos, I'm seeing you running from your problems and not facing them head on and just waiting for the universe to take care of it. Well, here's your judgment card in reverse with this third party. Um, it's time to leave where no longer serves you and go with where you want to be. Because, because the universe is here trying to help you, and um, you still have this third-party energy going on. Uh, there is going to be some hurt feelings. There is going to be some sorrow, some depression, because secrets are going to come out. But once again, I see this more so with your spouse, um, because I see you coming forward and being truthful. And once you do that, then everything's going to shift. Everything's going to um, come into uh, alignment. And you will be with who you're meant to be with. Oh. Get one card here from the angels. Romantic feelings. The feelings you are feeling are wor real and worth experience, exploring. So that's just saying it's time to... What you feel for this person is real. You're doubting yourself. You're doubting whether this connection ever really was what you remember it being. And so you're doubting whether you should move forward or not. But these feelings are real. This is really your soulmate. This is really your twin flame, your life partner. Um, you've got the star twice and, this, and the six of cups. So most definitely you are being guided to move in the path of this person. But first you have to let your own cycle end. You have to heal. You have to see what this, the universe is putting in front of you. And most of all, you have to come in and be truthful. Um, be truthful with everybody, even if it's going to cause heartbreak. So that's what I have for you, Virgos, for the week of the 23rd through the 31st. You guys have big, exciting things coming in. You just have to face your fear. Move forward. Um, don't fear the future because that's what's holding you back. It's robbing you of your happiness. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. That's all I got for you. God bless, and I'll see you next time.